The end. Snow Cone Mini One Shot. This is based off of a manga one shot I read. Ochako Uraraka shut the door to her house as she left. She could still hear her parents arguing in the kitchen from outside. They probably won't notice that I'm gone, thought Ochako. She felt a little bit hungry so she decided to go to the nearest gas station for a quick snack. As she entered she saw a man with a hoodie over his head arguing with the employee at the counter. This map is way too much. Can't you take it down at least 218 yen? Asked the man. Yes sir I'm afraid I can't do that, said the employee with his hands in front of him. Come on I really need it, said the man he turned his attention towards Ochako and he had an idea. Before Ochako could react the man had grabbed a hold of her and placed a knife right at her neck. Don't you care what happens to her? Asked the man, W what the hell? Thought Ochako. Put the phone down and don't call any heroes, said the man the employee was forced to put down the phone as the man took the map and took Ochako with him. Sorry about this, the man whispered to Ochako who was confused. The man placed her in a car and he quickly went onto the other side and sped away from the gas station. Oh my god I just became a hostage. I could use my quirk but I don't know what kind he may have. What is he going to do with me? Ochako thought to herself scared for her life. Damn it damn it. This wasn't supposed to happen. I'm really sorry for getting you involved in this. Just buckle up, said the man. What's with this guy? Thought Ochako. I'm really sorry about this. But could you possibly be my hostage for a little bit longer? At least until I die, said the man. Huh. Until he dies. What does he mean by that? Ochako thought to herself. She turned her head to look at the man who took off his hoodie revealing a teenage boy with messy green hair. I'm actually planning to kill myself, said the teen. Say what? Thought a shocked Ochako. I want to go to Cape Beauty. It's a place popular for suicide. I left home a few days ago but my GPS broke so I had to take a map also I can't afford to get caught by the police if I want to kill myself, said the teen. Um, if Cape Beauty is where you're going, it's in the opposite direction, said Ochako. Ah damn it not again. Oh right I forgot I have the map now where did I put it? The teen said to himself. Um actually, if you want to, I could guide you there, said Ochako. Really, that would be super helpful. Thanks so much, said the teen. First make a U-turn, said Ochako. All right, said the teen turning the car around. He doesn't seem like a bad guy though. He said he wants to kill himself but was he being serious? He seems pretty laid back about all this thought Ochako staring at the teen. She felt her heartbeat beat faster. Well it doesn't matter. At least now I don't have to go home, thought Ochako. Story continues below. Hey navigator should I keep heading straight? Asked the teen. Yes it's further ahead. Wait did you call me navigator? Asked Ochako. Well I don't know your name so navigator seems fine. Said the teen. Oh well let me introduce myself. My name is. Wait. I don't need to know. After all I will be dead soon. Said the teen putting his hand up in a stopping position. So he is serious thought Ochako. Anyway, you can just call me Deku. My old friends called me that is useless, said Deku. Well Deku kinda sounds like you can do it to me, said Ochako. Quote dot 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 dot. Well you can call me that then, said Deku blushing a little bit. Deku turned on the around after a few minutes of silence. Breaking news. 
At around 9 p.m. a teenage girl was kidnapped by an unknown man. The suspect escaped by car and the police are currently searching the area, said the radio which made Deku and Ochako cringe. Hey stop up here. We have to take a train to go up ahead, said Ochako. Deku pulled over and after Ochako paid for the tickets, ignoring Deku's pleas. Hey I know it's kinda late to ask but won't your parents be worried about you? Asked Deku. Gee, I never thought you would ask, said Ochako. S sorry, said Deku. Don't worry, they aren't home much they probably won't even notice, said Ochako. I wonder what they will do once they notice, thought Ochako. She felt her head get patted by Deku awkwardly. S sorry, you just look upset, said Deku. Oh, um, I was just wondering, why is it that you want to kill yourself? Asked Ochako. Deku immediately had a frown on his face and looked at his feet when he heard that. Well, I guess it's, cause I lost my girlfriend, said Deku. What really? Asked Ochako. Over a girl, thought Ochako. Yeah, she dumped me when she found out I don't have a quirk, said Deku. Wait, you don't have a quirk? Asked Ochako. Yeah if you wanted to you could probably melt me down or throw me or do something and I can't fight back, said Deku. T that's not necessary, but not having a quirk can't be all that bad right? Asked Ochako. I got bullied for it. I wanted to be a hero. Even my favorite hero said I can't be one, said Deku. Also my parents are divorced. My dad left when I was around two years old. My girlfriend leaving was just the final straw I guess, said Deku. Ochako immediately thought of her own family. Her dad and mother had been constantly arguing, mainly because they were poor. One time she heard them agree to divorce when Ochako became an adult. Oh god I'm so sorry did I say something to upset you? Asked Deku. Huh, said Ochako. She felt her face was now wet and covered in tears. Story continues below. W why am I crying? Ochako thought to herself. Deku pulled out a paper towel and wiped off all her tears. Sorry, I guess I talk too much, said Deku scratching the back of his head. Ochako bursts out laughing in front of him. You're really nothing like I thought you would be Deku, said Ochako trying to control her laughter. I is that so, said Deku. They soon boarded the train and they spent the trip talking. Deku talked a lot about his ex-girlfriend. They also played several games including I Spy and Rock Paper Scissors. Now arriving at Cape Beauty, said a voice over the intercom. He must have really liked his hero and his girlfriend. But for some reason when he talks about her. I feel jealous thought Ochako as they stepped out of the train. Ah, finally here, said Deku walking forward. Ochako looked around and she immediately felt afraid. She saw several signs asking for people to turn around. There were even numbers for suicide hotlines to try to convince them to turn around. And there was also a... Takoyaki stand. Wait Deku, said Ochako getting Deku to stop. Look, a takoyaki stand. Do you want some? Asked Ochako. Oh, I don't have any money on me, said Deku. It's fine, it's on me, said Ochako smiling cheerfully. Well I guess I will take you up on that offer then, said Deku walking back to her. Hey mister can we get some takoyaki please? Asked Ochako. Coming right up. Hem, what are you two up to? 
doing a lover's suicide? Asked the man both Izuku and Ochako blushed together in embarrassment. And no it's nothing like that. Said Ochako waving her hands. Really? That's good to hear. I'm just used to people coming around here doing that I just assume sorry. Said the man. You know I opened up this shop in hopes of changing people's minds about suicide. Well that the idea anyway but it seems kinda strange. But anyway here you go, said the man giving them their takoyaki. Both Deku and Ochako sat down and tasted their takoyaki. It tastes like crap, yelled both of them spitting it out. What is this? I guess the man was trying to convince people to still live with how bad this food is I mean really who would want this to be their final meal? Asked Deku. Haha, ha, that's true, said Ochako. Oh right, you're going to die soon huh? Ochako thought as she looked at Deku laughing. A few minutes later, well it was a nice trip navigator. Thanks for all the help and you're no longer my hostage. Bye, said Deku. Wait, a at least let me come with you to the cliff, said Ochako. Okay sure, said Deku walking forwards with Ochako following. Deku, hasn't your feelings changed at all? Even though I was your hostage, I still had a lot of fun, thought Ochako watching Deku walk towards the edge of the cliff. Deku, I don't want you to die. Thought Ochako pouring tears out of her face. Deku wait, yelled Ochako. It was too late. Deku had already stepped off the cliff as he was ready to die. But luckily Ochako was able to just touch him activating her quirk making him float. She then immediately pulled him back onto land. And navigator why did yo? Look. If you died then that would be the end of it for you. But, I would suffer from trauma my whole life. Said Ochako. Quote dot dot dot. I I am sorry. Said Deku. These last few hours, we had so much fun together that haven't your feelings changed at all. I can't give you a quirk. I can't help your parents. I can't change what your hero said. Said Ochako sobbing to herself as Deku watched in awe. And even if you can't forget about your girlfriend, then how about falling in love with me? Said Ochako shouting into the night sky filled with stars. Quote dot 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 dot. Okay, said Deku. Quote dot dot dot. Huh, said Ochako. I said okay. I f feel like if I'm with you then I can do anything navigator. Said Deku blushing. Quote dot dot dot. Ha you idiot. Said Ochako also blushing and now smiling. Deku took his hands and placed them on Ochako's face and brought her in for a soft kiss which she gladly accepted. A few days later. Alright you're free to go stay out of trouble this time. Said a police officer. Yes sir, thank you so much, said Deku bowing to the officer before leaving. He noticed that Ochako had been waiting for him. Why? asked Izuku. I told you, you and I should fall in LL love. And I don't break my promises, said Ochako clutching her school bag. Deku came up to her and wrapped his arms all around her. And for starters, you should tell me your name, said Ochako. Deku and Ochako shared a passionate kiss. I'll make you love me so much that you won't want to die. I will gladly take ideas for one shots. New reading list. Please name your reading list.